Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anut and today in the JavaScript tutorial, I'll discuss about focus events. So there is two types of focus event. One is focus and another is blur. Focus means when focus comes, so that time that event will occur. And blur means when focus will move, so that time that event will occur. Okay. So now I'll show you one by one. So I'll go to the HTML file. So in the HTML file, here you can see I have created one div and the button. So here. I have added some CSS as well. So for this div, you can see I have added some CSS and for the button, I have added some CSS and when focus will come to the button. So just for understanding purpose, like focus comes or not. So that's why here I have added one border, like when focus will come to the button. So that time this border will come and we can understand like now focus onto the button. Okay. So here I will show you the preview first of all. So here you can see the preview. So now if I press the tab key, so see now focus onto the button. So that's why this border is coming white color dotted border. You can see. So it is coming means focus onto the button. So now what I will do now. So when focus come to the button. So that time if I, I want to change the background color of this div. Now the background color is red. You can see in the preview as well. Background color of this div is red and the font size is now 20 pixel. Here you can see font size 20 pixels. So now when focus come to the button, so that time I will change the background color and the font size. If you want, you can change height with anything, anything you can change here. Okay. But I will show you the background color and the font size. So for that purpose here, I have to add on focus event first of all. So when we write any event. Okay. So that time on is the mandatory thing. So here I will write on and the event name. Event name is now focus. So I write on focus and here inside this on focus, you have to write on function name. This is called function. Okay. Uh, what it does when I will see here, just understand when I will, uh, I will bring the focus onto the button. So that time the background color of this div and the font size will change means there will be a relation this button and this back div. Okay. So how this relation will happen. So for this function will create a relation so function name i will add demo okay this function name you can add anything whatever you want and uh, here you have to write the parenthesis parenthesis is the mandatory thing like here when we write any event so on is the mandatory thing and then event name so same here parenthesis is the mandatory thing you have to write the parenthesis okay so now here this is function okay now here i will just copy this one and inside the script tag i will write function keyword this is also a mandatory thing you have to write the function keyword and here now this this one now will create a relation between this button and div so now i have added this function here now i have to take the div of uh, reference of this div this function is, is the reference of this button okay and now i will take the reference of this div so that's why I have taken one ID. So that I do, I'll, I will take here. So here I will write one variable, variable name. I will write anything. So I will write the variable name is D. You, if you want, you can change the variable name and you, whatever you want, you can write here. Now entire page is called document. Every time I say, why I say every time? Because if you are newly coming only in this video, so that time you can easily understand. If you are my old subscriber, or following my channel already so you know that thing so here this or entire page is called document and those are called element body element div element or you can say it tag okay those are called element even uh, we can say it tag so now if it is element so from this document and from this element i want to get this id so here i will write document so from this document dot i will get element by id means from this element by id i want to take the reference of this div so now here parenthesis and the id name is div whatever id name you will write here so same id name you have to write here as well so now here uh, i have taken the reference of this div and the button okay here you can see so now i will make the connection connection how i will make so just this div variable i will write here so now the connection is done so now what i want to do so when focus will come to the button so that's why I have written on focus. So then I will change the background color of this div. Background color comes under style.
here i'm assuming you know the basic html and css okay if you don't know even just you can pause my video and you can write all those css but it will be better like if you know html and css already if you don't know you can write in the comment section or you can check my others video too so there i explain css html everything so now here i will change the background color and that comes under style tag so here i will write div dot style because i want to change the style and now here dot background color okay so if you want you can write background even background color so i will write here background color one thing here you have to notice like uh, i have written background color in css same thing i have written background color initially which is red but here this time it's a hyphen wise but here you can see it's a camel case so this is the javascript one syntactual thing you have to follow you can't write hyphen like if you want if you are defining a variable and you are trying to write hyphen c already it is showing a error so you can't use hyphen in javascript so you have to write always camel case so background color equals to whatever background color you want to add you can add here i want to add here green and now i'll change the font size initially the font size is 20 pixel you can see here 20 pixel now i'll change it to 40 pixel so here div dot style because font size also comes under style and now uh, when we write uh, font size in css so that time we use font hyphen size but in this case you have to write camel case camel case means here you can see starting from uh, which one uh, i mean uh, you instead of hyphen when we write uh, like here so that time we, we we write capital letter okay like is here capital so that is called camel case actually so here i will write the font size is 40 pixel because initially 20 now i will add here 40 pixel so that is done so now save and i will come here so refresh now here when focus will come so that time i have shown you already like here on the button it will come a border and here i have written one event when focus will come so the color will change so see if i press the tab key focus will come here and see the background color of this deep and this uh, font size is changed again i will show you see focus comes so that's why border coming and the background color and the font size is also changed so this event occurs like uh, that time now here on blur blur event okay this one so same thing just on is the common one instead of focus you have to write here blur so when this event will occurs when focus will lost so now if i press tab key so see now focus onto the button but this event doesn't occurs but when i'll press again tab key so that time focus will move from here to another place so means focus will lost from this button so this blur event will occur so now press tab key see focus is here look at the mouse pointer focus is here so when lost this focus of this button so that time that event is occurred so any scenario if you, uh, you i mean face so that you so that time you can write those two event and this is the very important thing when you will work on the real life project you can understand the importance of those two events okay so here if you find this video helpful so please like this video also if you want to get more update in javascript so you can subscribe my channel also